everybody, it's me, ProGamePure17, and this video is is on how to make an FPG9 glider. I made an FPG9 glider for my aviation merit badge in Boy Scouts, and I thought this video could help anybody for the merit badge. Or you could do this for fun as a DIY project. Okay, for this project, you're gonna need scissors, the FGC9 template, a pen, some, some type of tape, a penny, and a foam plate. I will put the link in the description for the FGC9 page template. The first thing you wanna do is cut out this pattern and don't cut over this dotted line. Just cut out the whole thing and keep these slots non -cut, not cut out for now. And then after we cut out the normal stuff, I'll show you guys how to cut out the slots. Okay, so after you cut out the plane, next after that you cut out the plane, you want to cut off the tail. And then where it says rudder, you just want to get your scissors and just put one click snip through them so just like so there's just a tiny there's a tiny hole in between them and you want to do that with the re left ele elevon and the right one too so they can just open up like that and you it's fine if it doesn't go all the way down the black line it doesn't have to be perfect either so now for the bigger slits that are one right here and then there's one on the tail right there you want to put two cuts on both ends so you want to get it and you want to do one cut right there and one cut on both sides and now as you pick it up you will see that there's the middle extra spot like that and then you just want to get your scissors and just cut that extra spot cut off and now you have a slightly bigger gap and you want to do that same thing with this one Cut it twice away from each other, and there will be this tiny extra piece sticking out, and just cut that part off. So now you have the pattern that you want to use, and then from then you can use your pen from then. And so you want to put this so that the wings will come off a little bit. The make sure that there's a, it'll be fine if there's a tiny bend for the front part, but you just wanna make sure that you have enough enough space in the back to have your tail with no bend on it. You don't want any bends on your tail. So we trace them both out now. And if you want to, you can use your tape and tape it down. What I like to do is when I'm working on one, I'll tape the other one down. So I'm sure that you don't need to tape in that set in that section. So once you got that tape down, you can start tracing it all down. Now after that, you would have something that looks kind of like this. Everything is traced out, everything is all done. Now, because it's on the foam plate now, you want to get your scissors and you want to start cutting it all out and cut both of these separately. And just like we showed on the normal thing, do one slit for both of the tiny lines and do two slits and cut out the extra for the bigger lines. Okay, so now you're done cutting out all the foam stuff, you will have something that looks kind of like this. So if you have the two cuts out, you want to carefully bend it, these flaps both ways slightly, not too hard or else it will pop out and break. So you just want to push them around a little bit so they get easier to move on both of them. And now that's done. 
So now you want to put the bigger piece on this side and the bigger piece on this one together like that. And if you push it in, it'll look like this. And you might notice now it might not be perfect, so it'll be really flimsy. So that's why you would want to get a little bit of the tape and put it on the top and bottom. Not too much, but just put it on the top and middle, bottom a little bit. So if you, when you put it down, you might notice that there might be a little gap in between the tape right there. What you want to do if there's a gap like that, get your nail and just push it in, and it'll there will not be any gap. So just do that for for four times all around the the piece, and it'll be pretty sturdy. So now that I put it on this side, I want to put it on this side. So yeah, this is what I was trying to say. So see, there's a gap in there. So get your nail and push it in. And then now there will be no gap. And let's do that for the top two now. I'll do it the very last time. Now we have it taped together. Now it looks more like a plane. And the last thing we wanna do is tape on the penny in the front. So you wanna get your penny, put it right when the area when it finishes, get some tape, and then see this flap in the front? You fold that in over the penny and you just put the tape over that flap and you can put a like a two or three pieces so you make so you know it's sturdy Okay, so now after you put that together, you have your FPG-9 plane. And the only reason we have this in the front is so that it stays up in the air more, and the weight in the front after a while will bring it down. Because if it's in the air the whole time, there's not really any more fun of trying different things. This would be a nice hands-on project with your friends. And you can com compete with these gliders with them too. Okay, so I just colored up my plane, but now we're gonna be looking at how it moves. So how to make it move different ways. You keep all of these three straight, and it'll go straight. If you bring up two of these flaps, these flaps make it go up and down. Push these up, it'll, the air will get caught right here, so it would go up. And then push these down, the air would go down. So now, if we keep these straight this time, and we turn this to the right, the plane will go to the right, the glider. Put it to the left, the glider will go to the left. And you can play around with these if you put one up and one down like that. It'll go, it'll go spinning in that direction. And there's a lot of stuff you can do with it to pl play around with. And so I just threw it outside a little bit and did every single one. Now you guys can check that out.